and uh, something that I know actually creates balance when it comes to parenting is knowing when to talk. I'm mean, going to do more than talk. Of course, uh, our parenting experts in the house might not agree with doing more than talk, but we have a Kimi Siri in the house. You're welcome, ma'am. It's great to Thank have you. Thank you very much for having me. All right, wonderful. So we're talking about the value of talk in parenting, right? Okay, I know we've, uh, over, over the, the course of the month, we've spoken about different methods when it comes to parenting. But uh, talk, that's something that uh, a lot of African parents don't really believe in. They believe in that silence, they give you the eye. They know, there's a way when they squint the eye, you know what it means. When you're outside, when you're misbehaving as a kid, and then there's a way they look at you, you know how to do So African parents believe in, you know, sign language, or what should I say also. But now we're talking about the value of talk when it comes to parenting. How important is talk? Talk. Talk. What is talk, you know? For me, talk is um, the open-ended communication mm. between one or two persons, you know? Open-ended. Verbally. Yes, mm. verbally, spoken words. Spoken yes, word. that's what I mean. And, and of course, um, com in communication, we have verbal and non-verbal communication. But talk is the use of words exactly. to pass across your ideas, information. It involves listening, active listening as well. Because when mm. we're talking to someone, we're not talking at the child. You know, there's, when you talk at, at, at talking to. you just talk. You okay. do all the talking. But when you are, the value of talk involves you also listening to the child because it, it has like three processes involved. Um, the affective, that's where the emotion is involved. The intellectual, the mm. thinking process, mm. you understand? And then the behavioral. Sometimes as you're talking or your child is talking to you, if you look at the child, eye contact. I always say, look, eye contact is very critical. You'll be able to get some cues about emotions of the child. So through talk, the child gets to express his or her emotions mm. on board. Yes. Most times we lose out on what our children are feeling or are going through because we don't engage them in talk. So talk is actually very, very important mm. in the um, parent-child relationship. Well, you're, okay. Yes. And now, so, uh, now when you're talking about parent-child now, the, uh, let's look at the age. At what point should you, should, should, should you start... Uh, listening to the child. I mean, it's not uh, kids that are maybe younger, one, two, they might not be coherent, they might not know how to express what they want to say and all of that. What's the age range we are looking at? How, when do we start having that kind of talk with Talking them? Talking to children begins from the one, really. Okay, but when you say yes. listening also, I'm, 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 yes. I'm, I'm looking at the listening part. The listening part, you see, a child may not be in, have all the words to express his or her emotions. Mm. But, you know, I had stated that in talk we have the affective, which has to do with the emotional aspect, you understand? Mm. You know, critical listening is not just listening to words. You listen to the emotional cues of the child as well. Mm. Because children actually get information emotionally from us. A child can tell you when you are sad, even without you saying you are sad, just by looking at your eyes. Mm. Children are very powerful. You know, they have been equipped with everything they need to function as all human beings with, within the human community. Mm. And so talking is not limited to any age at all. But you see, I understand what, what, what they're trying to say. When a child has language mm. to be able to express him or herself, yes. that's the, you must begin to start talking to the child about a lot of issues. You know, remember, in our universe, in the world now, we have several voices. And the first voice to get to the child should seem, be the seem to be the voice that directs, that dictates the direction okay. of the life of that, in, that, that, that human being. And so the voice of the parent is very, is needed in the soul of the child. The mm. child needs that direction. Now, now we've heard a number of stories about how maybe kids, when they are growing up, they have challenges in school, maybe they are being bullied and all of that. And, you know, when we grew up, we said, okay, we didn't have that access to our parents. We could have told them about things like yes. this. If we had such um, yes. access, you know, yes. w w what can you tell parents now um, in, in a bid to prevent this kind of thing happening to their own kids, the kind of, the kind of things that happen to us? I will suggest that you, you, as a parent, you project, because you are the older one, you know, the more experienced one, like, my child is going to school. What are the likely experience? What are the likely challenges that the child will have? I need to resource her with some information so that when these things happen, the child will be able to navigate that, you know, that particular uh, um, situation. And then when we engage our children, we talk open-ended talk, where the child is free to express himself, where we teach. You know, in education, we, we, all we know today, every information we have is through talk. Mm. Every information you have is through talk. 
talk communication generally. And so, so when we already project that, look, my child is going to this place, what are the likely um, 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 dishes that the child may come across? How does the child cross over to, to the other side? So we, we, we as parents, we should resource that child beforehand. So when the child gets there, the child will remember. Or else another mm, voice. You preempt it. Preempt, you preempt yes, it. Yes. I like or that. else another voice will direct the child. Mm. And that voice may not be the right voice. What are the case of where the child is being bullied, say, by a teacher? And where they are threatened, say, okay, don't tell anybody and all of that. You know, we, we, we have situations like that. Maybe people in junior secondary, maybe older primary, and then maybe the teacher is beating them or something, and, or an elder student or a senior in school and says, okay, if you tell somebody, we're going to... How do you... When, when a child doesn't want to talk, how do you make them talk? If the parent-child relationship is very unique, mm. okay, if a parent has already established that free flow of communication body language you can even tell for example i had an experience my daughter when she was i think she was like eight the teacher was bullying her mm. really verbal not just her but all the children all the children so i noticed that mm, you know she said mommy something is happening i said what is happening that was a particular i said look you need to tell me now what is happening and then when mm. she told me everything she said there's more i said so right those ones down. She said, I can't write, I can't tell you those ones because you will shout. I said, okay, write it down. Oh, so wow. she wrote me a note. Oh, wow. And when I saw it, I had to handle, I went straight to the teacher. To the school, wow. With my daughter beside me. I said, this and this and this and this and this. You know, and it, 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 it was a very emotional um, um, situation. And wow. so the, the lady, I insisted that you must apologize not only to my daughter, but to other children. Hmm. Yes, I insisted. So as parents, we need to be our children's child. Now, I'm not saying I'm a perfect parent, but things come up. If there is a relationship of talk, children will tell you things. Like you said, they may not be able, sometimes they, they're not able to articulate certain things because they are being threatened. But you also listening to their body language, to the emotions that they express, that's also part of talk. That's also part of talking. Wonderful. Above all, the talk of our life is also very important. What is our life telling to Show it to the kids. You know, I love the, you, this. you understand? I love the practical example you gave. That alone really drives the point home, trying to make them, you know, talk even when they don't want. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure having you. Thank and you. of course, uh, gleaning from your fountain of knowledge. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very Thank you. All right, that's it. On parenting, I hope you're able to grab one or two things. We'll take this time out now. There's still more to come on show.